Hey, I'm Nick Long Gamer, and welcome back to PCM24 Yeti, episode number 12. Before we get started on this one, we're at the very beginning of stage two for the Tour of Norway. It's a pro race, so pop three at stake, and we're going to have to take a very different approach for this one. I have a feeling it's going to go quick uh, in reality, because this one is way over our head in the realm of possibility. Primoz Roglic is at this race. Carlos Rodriguez is at this race. A handful of riders with 78, 79, or 80 mountain ratings are at this race. The depth of field here is insane compared to our quality. We have trouble with sprinters that are plus 4 compared to us on paper. Uh, plus 11 is probably going to be much too difficult, but Fitness peaks for everybody, objectives for everybody, everybody with a plus five expected, we damn near got it. Our only chance, though, under the circumstances, is to catch everybody else off guard. We're never going to beat them head-to-head -head with such a deficit. So I'm going to try to get at least two riders into each breakaway and see if there's any hope of them holding on. Overall, there's actually only 94 riders in this field. There's not that many teams here which means a breakaway has a little bit better of a chance than it would under other circumstances. There's less power to chase. Today, it's going to be Abdullah going into the break because, well, one, he can climb a bit better and with some plus sixes today and can sprint a little bit. And Walters, mostly because they're the closest. Hopkins is probably a better choice, but he's way back at the back of the peloton. So Abdullah and Walters are going to give a big push here from kilometer zero and try to attack. Starting this one out with a mega climb is going to be rather difficult just to survive and make a breakaway with our type of ratings. But again, that plus five gives us at least a little bit better of a chance to do so. Abdullah is going to be the first to attack. So that's that's certainly a good, good thing. Uh, regatta? Are you going to let me attack with Regatta? But they are definitely cha chasing in a different way than what they were doing a short while ago. So, uh, good Sabbath? No, no, no. Let's let this thing go. Will you let Walters attack, or do we need to sit up with Walters real quick? Can I get a third rider in the break? Back off somewhat. Regatta is chasing. He is third wheel. Walters is fourth wheel. And that Megan's is fifth wheel. And the gap is opening. Uh, back for these three. Williams cannot climb, but is a sprinter. Hopkins can climb and sprint. So for the Sabbath, is going to protect him. And hope that Williams can get there to be a lead out if it comes down to the sprint. And there's any hope there. Regatta, you got a teammate right behind. Go ahead and ride a bit easier. Abdullah, that gap is 313. Oh, gap is oh, it's, it's, it's working. Folks, if, if this breakaway survives, we are perfectly set with three out of five riders. And Megan's is an easy beat. Not an easy beat, but with three riders, it, it seems like it's easy to do. Walters, back off a little, Abdullah, go ahead and wait for him. All right, we are climbing. I will work together for now. I wouldn't mind seeing the one rider dropped, but uh, I have a feeling that this is looking like it's our breakaway. <laughs> we got three-fifths of it. Megan's is going back to the peloton, so now it's four riders. Three minute advantage, 2.8k from the top. Peloton split at the top of the climb, but it comes back together soon after. We're going to go right into an uncategorized climb here in just a moment where you really, really need to be on it. We still have not made up the ground with that other guy, but I actually really don't mind. We haven't made up the ground to him because it means he's going to exhaust himself a little bit by riding solo. 90k. This is a short stage. Just 120k overall. 
the problem with that one is that generally the peloton is going to have a high tempo and that's going to catch you out we're only a minute and a half ahead of the peloton right now there is time bonuses but this is not the kind of race where a time bonus is going to make much of a difference walters is already 242 down on stage two with a prologue stage one 214 for regatta Abdullah 222 uh, significant gaps from uh, from that prologue which was a punchy one it's Carlos Rodriguez who won that one 1636 and we're, we're talking about already a minute plus gap as you get outside of the top 10 and Roglic is completely missing from this list gap back to 226 our three riders are hanging on as we've hit the top of that climb, Peloton's all back together, minus one rider. Our three guys are certainly hanging in there. And our three at the front in the four-man break, Kiffin, working a little harder than we are right now, which means he's exhausting some energy. But I'm also trying to do something sustainable. And without much of a descent, just slight downhill stuff, it's going to be hard to get that recovery. And right now is the best time to get a little bit of energy back he's gonna bury himself which is gonna leave us solo before long but the peloton at 36 at this point one of my best hopes is it staying at 36 coming back to us and having six riders of 39 assuming that kiffin's gonna bury himself he's mad that we're not contributing but he's riding too hard it's up to 46 now as 10 riders regain contact and that seems to be the state of things now. Time to get water for the one and only time today. Uh, who was my non-sprinter of this? Abdullah, right? No. Regatta is the weakest of them. Just a 37 second advantage right now. Our best hope is the field deciding that we are not a threat and sitting up. Our second best hope is the fact that we've got six guys, but as the peloton comes back almost entirely together, uh, the hopes of having a numerical advantage over everybody else and having all six riders in the final run-in is fading rather quickly. At this point, it's starting to look like my best hope might be coming down to the fact that uh, the sprinters are not at this race and that we might have our full team, our full contingency for that final run-in, which has a slight uphill to it. A little more favorable sprint condition for our That's team the the and the no we've chance. been reeled in breakaway over so focusing now hopkins and walters are the primary sprinters Corey williams is the third Maze man for this so we will protect those three this climb features some dreadful Ooh, percentages. walters 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 Olstad dropped that could be a puncture but it could be the end of the day for him. It certainly was for the other rider who did not regain contact with the bunch. A couple riders are dropped on this merit. Regatta and Kiffin, by the way, tied for the uh, KOM. But winning that doesn't mean anything. No benefit for doing that, so we will not focus on it. Just seconds ahead, but it just means high tempo. All six are feeling it. That could be a good thing, right? Unprotected sprinters could really be struggling right now. There might not be much in terms of sprinters. There's hope. Not much, but there's hope. High tempo as it is right now, 13K. Let's go with an Abdullah. Okay, 10.8 10 and some slight downhill. So we definitely need to get moving. With plus fives for all three of them, this is the best chance we're going to get. But again, this field is <laughs> this field is crazy the deep. This is the toughest the race we've ever been a part of so far in a year and a half. But a 99 is getting us out front. A 99 is putting us in position to at least back off momentarily. On to uh, Regatta. Inside 6K, final gels. 5k perfectly positioned plus fives maybe no sprinters in the field 4k okay on a food sabbath we'll have three sprinters following this food sabbath soft sprint 
Hard sprint, full sprint. And Come on, Food Sabbath, where's your sprint, bud? Where's your sprint? Williams, 1.6. Maris, punchy, going very early. I think we've got him offset. Remember, this is slightly uphill. We're at 3.2. Did I get the right guys in Walters, Hopkins? Yes, we got the right guys there. 1.1K, Williams is still sprinting here. Walters, getting that lead out. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy, Hopkins. I'm looking at Walters right now, though. Walters, 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 come on. You can get Maris, but here comes Mads Pedersen. It's up! Podium, but it's not a win. Damn, it's so close. Wal don't even get Maris. Walters gets third. Williams gets fourth. Hopkins gets fifth. Corbin Strong. Von Sabbath gets seventh. Abdullah gets eighth. Magnus Court Nielsen. Regatta, just outside of the top ten. Tratnik. Jorgensen. Laporte. Roderick. The so much quality in this field. And we get on the podium all over that top ten all over that top 10. I would be, I'm, I'm pretty excited right now as to how close we got. I would be distraught if Pedersen didn't come along and take that win comfortably because losing to Maris by inches is, uh, I would be absolutely heartbroken right now. And instead, I'm pretty damn happy with a podium. Stage three of four had a six-man breakaway barely ahead of the field, and Abdullah was the one who was putting the most effort in. And then the other five all attacked him. <laughs> like, what? He's the one doing the work. And they all attack. So uh, he's back in the peloton now, and he has no hope of getting back up there to them. We're going to have to hope for a sprint today uh, also. We're going to have to hope for some additional luck because where we had the draw that was expected on that last stage, it's not there today. For one, Abdullah is down to a, an expected plus two. He's the first and so far only rider on the team that is hitting the end of his fitness peak. So his expected today was a plus two. He's drawn a minus five. He's picked up the worst draw he could have. Meanwhile, Fun Sabbath has a minus one. Walters has a minus four. Williams has a minus two. Hopkins has a minus two. The only one that is at minimum neutral, possibly positive, is Regatta, but m minimum. We have a minus 14. So even if he drew a plus five, which would never show up because plus five is the best you can get, we still would have a minus nine draw today. Terrible draw feel almost fortunate that we even have all of our riders still in after that climb. Definitely coming down to a sprint today, and we're going to speed forward towards that sprint. We still have 126k to go. It is a sprint stage, but looking at that profile, that's a definite... Oh, oh you can't see it behind the face cam. Uh, but you can see it down here. Uphill. Uphill finish, 4 or 5% definitely the final couple kilometers so we're going to be looking less at sprinters and more at who is punchy and that means we probably need to move on from a no walters is it's williams right yeah williams is not punchy regatta is much punchier and almost a decent sprinter uh food sabbath doesn't have the sprint but does have the punchiness and Abdullah has that nasty race day condition. So let's stop protecting Walters. Let's protect Regatta instead. 20k to go. Abdullah is involved in a crash. The field has split and Walters is at the back end of this. But the field is on the verge of coming back together with just the 18k to go. Walters still needs to try to work to get back in position and may not do so. So we've got four guys. Breakaway has not been caught, but it is a one minute uh, deficit only and with that last 2k it can go pretty quick but we are not looking great at the moment for uh, what's to come Abdullah is definitely not going to be part of this so I've got five riders uh, Williams is going to end up leading this thing out we're going to gel up for him now 13.8 Food Sabbath will end up following him now seems a good time for one you still got to catch those front five and we can maybe get out front. I would love to get some separation if possible. 
Uh, Walters is still not well placed. Hopkins a little bit stronger sprint acceleration today. Realistic Regatta is the punchiest of the bunch. Try to get Walters third in that wheel and then uh, Hopkins and Regatta with the plus five gets the job today. Williams up that tempo. Go ch chase down those five. Sad that it only Really, nine riders are out of contention, the five at the front. And they're not out of contention yet. It's still 40K. Uh, 99 Williams, Flint Sabbath, let's get you ready. These guys aren't even necessarily in contact with you just yet. Let's go. Get me out front. Get me out front. 7K. Still haven't caught those front guys. It's only come down by five seconds. But that last 2K could hit them pretty hard. 5k, gel up for these guys. Good Sabbath can't get me out front, so this is a sign of uh, the issues we are having here. 4k. On to Walters at 3.2. And not well positioned. There's at least three teams, three sprinters better set than we are. 1.8k and sprinting. Again, our best group. hope here is that the sprinters are the ones being set up and the sprinters are incapable. Hopkins is out front, Regatta is out front, and here comes the proper guys, Christophe Laporte, Viviani, Geese. Here comes Pedersen again, flying through late. He's not going to get the win today, but he is going to get second for a fraction of a second there. It looked possible that everybody could have been out of red bar and that Regatta and Hopkins could have held on. It's another top 10 though. Regatta 7th, Hopkins 10th, Primoz Roglic is 11th. Leo Hader. That's not Ethan. Uh, final stage. I have hopes of being in the breakaway, but none of my riders were near the front of the peloton here at the start, and there was an immediate attack that we are just now getting to the front, literally all at the exact same time, with three riders at 33 seconds away. They've been chased pretty hard, but the second group was the one that was caught. We've got a chance to attack here to get in. This is going to be another hard stage. One, it finishes on cobbles, and you've got the likes of Mads Pedersen here in the field. Former world champion, 80 flat rating, 79 cobble rating, 79 sprint rating, 80 stamina and resistance. This is what we're up against, and... With these types of ratings, plus at 75 hills, he's just been an impossible task to try to beat. So we are back to our best hope being a surviving breakaway. And with just three riders up the road, we're hoping to get into it. But as they chase down the last three riders that were trying to attack with them, my assumption is the field wants a three rider break and nothing more so that they can easily control it. And even though we're not a threat, at all. Our ratings are so inferior compared to everybody else here. It, it's the us versus them of this game that's going to make this hard. Who to send in the break is the big task today. All right, decisions made. Foon Sabbath and Williams. So you have at least one sprinter up there, but not our primary Attack. guy. And then Foon Sabbath to uh, support him. So send these two on a relay, and let's hope we can get up there as <laughs> Hey Duke is chasing us down. Our only hope of getting in the breakaway now is if we could possibly catch those three riders, and that's feeling very unlikely. So Peloton has decided we are not going to make the breakaway today, and I can tell you very plainly that there is no hope. We can absolutely bury ourselves and still not make it into that breakaway. Final 13k of this race. We've already pulled off one big surprise, but not enough for a victory as we set this up with 11.7k to go. We've got some climbing to do. We've got a very short one-star cobbled sector on the way to the finish line. There are chances, potentially, of a split in the field the as Abdullah is going to take over here from Foon Sabbath. Uh, if we get lucky, we can maybe split the field. This is one of those just fluke chances. The, uh, the race day conditions are there other than uh, Foon Sabbath. And we are splitting the field now. We're down to 62 riders. This is also preventing anybody else from attacking 
And as Abdullah runs out, we're going to get on to uh, Regatta here to take over and speed things up. This is one of those places where that split could happen, and then you've got that downhill. Somebody like Abdullah getting in line behind Your and setting up. 4.4k, gel up. Regatta is done. 3.7k. Our problem now is Williams is already a bit tired at 3k, and yeah, here comes the sprint trains. Spa, soft sprint for Williams. Hopkins, got to go a little early, but we also have that cobbled sector, so it's that double whammy for us that's going to be hard. Walters making his big final push. Hopkins is well-placed. Hopkins is well-placed, but it's, it's not going to be a win. It's Mads Pedersen again. Insane ratings. Geese, budding. Hopkins 7th. Walters ninth. We had a good race. We were contenders. But Pedersen was just too insanely good and did not have a bad day. That initial prologue made it really hard to place well. So 26th, 28th, 30th is where we ended up being with our guys. And most of this came down to those initial gaps. There wasn't that many riders that ended up losing time on any of those other three stages. So Carlos Rodriguez, who won that prologue, wins the overall. Attila Walter uh, did get some bonus seconds there at some point. We picked up four bonus seconds in this race, but that was it. We couldn't even get established in breakaways, let alone get a win. But with multiple top tens and a podium, it was a very good race. Just, I know we have that larger overwhelming goal of victories and that didn't come here so that is failure but otherwise excluding the overarching goal that was a very successful race for us we ran quite well Hopkins was tied for fourth in the points but Pedersen wins it we were second in the mountain classification with Regatta picking up five points here oh, yeah he was second over the line on the Grisabak and and he was earlier, got 10 points on whatever stage we attacked early on and actually made a breakaway. Abdullah was the other one. Walters all picked up points, but we miss out by a couple over Ravnoy. But again, wouldn't have been a big deal had we won that. It wouldn't have counted for anything. As a team, ninth, all of that time lost coming on the first stage. Uh, we were seeking a visibility too on this one, even though we've already signed our contract for next year. No big deal. We should have succeeded with that, though. We do have a point one coming up next, and then the ZLM Tour with four sprint stages and a minor race. Uh, we're bringing our best guys for the ZLM. We're bringing most of our best guys for this other one. It does have a little cobbled climb that you're going to hit over and over again. I would imagine it's probably only a one or two star, but could be impactful especially with one right before the finish line and then into the national championships where we then pick up into july i've yet to set these races but it's all point ones so lots of opportunities this season to to do something and we have come close we've come very close on a couple of, of occasions now uh, as difficult as it is it's a matter of time it is a matter of time we are not getting blown out. We are competitive. It's just, even when perfect, we have not had luck to get us that last little bit that we need. We've been close enough twice that I, I do feel like we'll get it right, just right. And the luck will come at some point. Because we've been lucky at wrong moments. But the right moment, the right scenario and some luck can equal a win. It it will happen. It is inevitable. And we won't have the likes of Carlos Rodriguez and Primoz Roglic and Mads Pedersen in very many races going forward. So uh, at least in the next season or two, that is going to be a bit of a rarity. So better opportunities will come and we'll get that win. I'm the Cathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.